Aldar gives us Cornish wrestling, more topless Aiden. After the shirtless shenanigans of last week's Paul Dark, Season 4 Episode 2 opens in a rather more U-certificate fashion, with Ross, Demelza and their children watching the Cornwall to London coach and horses trot past them while they are out for a stroll. How far is London? Asks Paul Dark Jr. as they watch the coaches pass. Hundreds of miles, replies Ross, with Demelza chipping in that it feels like the end of the earth. Gosh. Who would like to bet that our hirsute hero is on that very coach before the end credits? If you've read any recent cast interviews or the original Paul Dark books, then you already know Ross will end up in Westminster, and this episode speedily goes about the business of putting him on that political road. Of course, Hugh I'm just a bit poorly Armitage is the candidate going up against George Worlgan, but as he's lying weakly in his sick bed, chances are he won't be for much longer. Hugh's frustrated uncle Lord Falmouth has dismissed Dr. Anais, so Hugh is now being treated by Black Hatter style quack Dr. Choke, who thinks leeches and tribination, drilling holes into the skull, is the best form of medicine. Not sure that it will help with Hugh's headaches though, doctor. But just when you think the episode is going to be all grim politics and gruesome poultices, even Carolyn and Demelza are getting involved in a plot to scupper George's chances of re-election, it's time for a bit of wrestling. Because, why not? It seems that none of Demelza's brothers are very lucky in the love department, so while Drake is pining after Marwenna, Sam has set his sights on Emma, even if it means he has to wrestle nasty thug Tom Harry to win her heart. Yes, we know that makes no sense, but hey, this is Paul Dark. Ross decides to help Sam train and gets so achy in the process Demelza has to give him a soothing bath, leading to this week's Aiden Turner wet and topless moment. Next week, maybe shirtless Ross falls into the Thames? Watch this space. Throughout the episode, scenes like this give you a distinct feeling that the Paul Dark production team may have been sampling the Cornish cider and decided that what this show needs, finally, is just a bit more fun. It certainly works as just when you think you'll nod off as George preens about another of his political schemes or Demelza sniffs over Hugh, the action switches to grunting men wrestling, Ross handsomely brooding, and, make sure you're not heating at this point, even the hilariously awful sight of the sweat irrelevant wit worth slobbering all over the feet of a local prostitute. In fact, while Turner, Eleanor Tomlinson, Jack Farthing and Heather Reed may get the headlines and praise for their leading performances in Paul Dark, it's supporting performers like Christian Brassington as the Vilosu Whitworth, Turlo Convery as brutish Tom Harry and, of course, B.D. Edney as Prudy who bring the real color, life, humor and joy to the show. If Ross going to Westminster means we'll get less scenes of him pouting across the Cornish coastline, let's hope they're replaced with ones featuring the adventures of lovable Prudy or the gross misadventures of Weasley Wentworth. Or perhaps, dare we even dream it, the relevant could get his own spin-off show? It could be the funniest thing on TV. Baldark continues next Sunday, June 23, at 9pm on BBC One. Want up-to-the-minute entertainment and tech news? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Ad Digital Spy Twitter account and you're all set.